Melanie Jolie declares Canada's long Cold War with Denmark over. Now, don't be alarmed if you're unaware that Canada and Denmark had a 50-year-long spat. The conflict is also known as the Whiskey War, or the Flag War it was not actually a dispute about whiskey or flags, but over a barren rock in the far Arctic. Actually, a 1.3 square kilometer uninhabited island called Hans Island, which is located between Ellesmere Island and Nunavut and Greenland, which is, of course, an autonomous Danish territory. Now, Canadians and Danes have both claimed Hans Island, but back in 1984, Canadian troops planted a Canadian flag on the island, and then they also buried a bottle of whiskey there. That's our claim. The Danes responded weeks later by planting their own flag and replacing the whiskey bottle with a bottle of Danish Aquivit, which is a Danish spirit. Hans Island is also known as Tartupaluk in Inuktitut and Greenlandic. And now, after many years, it will be split between the countries, creating Canada's newest and only other land border outside of the U.S. That's right, we have a land border with Greenland now. You can walk across the Canada-Denmark border anytime you want but you gotta get there first. But why is this so significant? Well, look, we're seeing deadly dangers of territorial disputes now. Russia expanding its control over Eastern Ukraine. They annexed Crimea back in 2014. There's other territorial disputes like Taiwan and the South China Sea or the Kashmir region. So can the Canada-Danish Greenlandic resolution be a model for other countries to follow? Let's bring on the Greenlandic foreign affairs Business and Trade Minister Vivian Motzfeldt, who is in Ottawa to mark the historic agreement. Uh, Minister Motzfeldt, thank you for being here. How did the resolution come about? I think it's been a very uh, good day, uh, a historic day, and uh, remarks has been uh, uh, very important for each uh, country. So it's been a very good day. And what? Why did it take so long to resolve this? I, I think the 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 most um, important his, uh, story is to tell that the, that we uh, point to to uh, understanding and solve the the problem uh, soberly and uh, and in a, and in a very uh, peacefully way and it's very important especially today to show the rest of the world that you can solve problems in a manner and a good way. This island, I know, is part of traditional Inuit hunting grounds, and so it's mm. significant for the Inuit in both Greenland and Nunavut. Are there other strategic importances to this island? Is it strategically important? Is it, is it, a, is it important for resource claims, oil and other natural resources found around there? I think if you look upon the history, it's never been an island. It's always been a, a, it's it's never been a problem for Inuit. It's always been a, a a meeting point. It's it's not about the island, but waters around and uh, where you hunt and where you meet uh, uh, fellows from Nunavut and from Greenland. So uh, so solving solving the the border today is uh, clar clarifying the problem and then we can uh, step forward, uh, work on, on, on next issues like uh, uh, making mobility uh, between Inuit and uh, make more exchange between uh, Inuit in, in Nunavut and Greenland. So it's just a stepping stone uh, what happens today. Mm. There's strategic importance, Minister, as well, as, as you know. Um, was there pressure to have a united front of two NATO allies as Russia poses a bigger threat in the Arctic and China poses a threat? Uh, was it important that these NATO allies resolve this conflict? Of course, of course. It's, it's a very important signal uh, to the rest of the world uh, for us too because uh, have Arctic as a low tension and tell the rest of the world uh, it's it's very important and what happens today uh, is a si signal to 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 yeah. to the rest of the world that uh, Arctic is uh, is um, uh, solving a problem in a manner and in diplomatic way and you can solve problems that way and uh, and also always uh, make a signal that uh, Arctic will always be a, a low 
uh, tension. Mm. So that's a very uh, important signal. It is, I, I, geopolitically and strategically. Let me ask you a significantly less important question. But now Canada no longer just shares a maritime border, but a land border with Europe, technically. Mm. That means Canada would support, could participate in Eurovision and be part of the union. What do you make of that, Minister? <laughs> uh, it, it must be up to um, uh, Eurovision uh, uh, people uh, that I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> so that's the yeah. next diplomatic dispute uh, i'm just i just want to welcome you to our country it's good to have a, a settlement and a peaceful settlement of a land dispute given the, the the real world tensions welcome to our country i hope you enjoy it uh you are the greenlandic foreign affairs minister vivian motzfeld uh, a real pleasure to have you on the program on a very historic and a good day thank you